Hi guys, I just want to show you this a follow on vid to my previous vid about uh, how to do pixel, how to create a pixel brush in Toon Boom Harmony. I want to show you how to, I'm just going to, you know, I've got to do some pixel work now for a job, so I just want to show you how it works. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a job I'm doing at the moment where this bunny kind of vomits. Excuse the SIF material. But um, I want to make, so this is all drawn in Photoshop. I want to do more of like a fountain, which is one of the notes I've got to do. So uh, everything I've imported here has been at the pixel size. So I want to get that same color. Firstly, I've got my pixel brush selected here. I saved it as a preset. And uh, you see, I create a new color, double click it, get my color picker, cool, and get that second color. Oh. Color picker is whack. I want to get that color. Bad. Anyway, let's get that green color. So now when I draw, you can see it's drawing at the pixel size, which is cool. And I'm going to be adding in some frames here. <coughs> Excuse me. This is kind of the first time I'm, I'm doing drawing pixels in production, in a production job. Let's see how it works. And then you'll see if I move it around, it, it's not locked to a pixel grid, which is kind of cool. Um, See, it's gonna take some tweaking. So once it's once it's on the ground, I'm gonna do like a loop. Just mark it drawing. For this fountain. before that bunny runs away. And so I, I wanna do I wanna do like a a loop of a fountain streaming out his mouth. So I'm just gonna Should be able to fill this with a brush. Oh, sorry, paint bucket. Yeah. I think a three frame loop would be cool. One, two, one, two. So what I'm going to do is just say, I'm just getting this loop sorted out. I've got to say, animation sometimes isn't the most fun thing. To watch at least. And then my eraser, um, pixel eraser, which I've saved that as a preset, so it will erase single pixels. That's what we want. 
Put its onion skin here. Let's see how drawing mode works. Nope, that's not going to work. Let's get a light table and just change up the opacity of the onion skin. I guess it's actually going to go a bit thicker. I'll animate it thicker and then smaller so it gets that kind of vibrating motion, I guess. Sometimes a little unresponsive with Mac. I find. Let me just save. So if you do pixel art, you'll know it's like a lot of the time it feels like sculpture actually. Thin. So I'll get this loop looking pretty cool. Put these on threes. I just mark these drawings sometimes to see where I am in the loop. everything else back in time including that by how many frames shift plus is what I'm pressing Pretty surf, but it seems to work well. I'm just gonna finish this animation off. Gonna mark this frame so I know how long to hold, uh, push the other animation out for the timing. Let's have a look.
Cool, it's not quite looking right at the head of that animation. Anyway, I'm pleased with how the pixel thing's working so far. I think this first frame should be, like what I want to do is spurt first. <laughs> and then come back a bit. So... Let's start with, with some spews. Just hold E to erase. Some of it's already landing on the ground here. Pretty gross. Just want to follow these particles. Cool. I guess I want some bits falling from here. So the last little bit fall. I can go and, uh, and clean that up. Works pretty well. As you can see, if you want to know how to set up a pixel art brush in Toon Boom Harmony, I'm using Toon Boom Harmony Premium 15. It's not as intuitive as you'd think it is. You got to do a specific thing where you have a, literally one pixel in the middle of a 3x3 three three, uh, Photoshop document and use that for your custom brush. Otherwise, you just get like a, th if you just use a one pixel without any space around it, Toon Boom wants to alias that brush. You get like a three pixel width brush. So this is a bit of a hack for that. Thank you for watching.